I've always had a passion for being around and learning about animals. When I was younger, going to zoos and animal parks was always a part of my life. I wanted to share my passion with family and friends, so I started working with people that loved animals as much as I did, and my YouTube channel was born. So today I'm at the Wildlife Rescue Center. I'm about to do an interview on three toed box turtles, so I hope you enjoy. Welcome back to my animal education series. Today I'm here with Casey. Hello. Hi. What do we have here? Uh, so these are some eastern three-toed box turtles. Um, this happens to be Bellos and Allegra. Um, and they're hanging out out here um, just in one of our raised garden beds. They live in an outdoor enclosure and um, we're visiting with them to uh, share a little bit more about these wonderful species. So where can you find these turtles in the wild? Um, turtles mostly prefer woodland habitats. They're built to sort of move through the um, bottom leaf layer hunting earthworms and all sorts of uh, small animals down there on the, the forest floor. Um, but currently most of the wooded areas are now where we're living. So these guys are also moving through yards and parks and um, basically around our, our neighborhoods. So how do these turtles uh, come to be here? Um, so Bellos was actually found um, injured in the wild. So he was found on the side of the road. Um, he I believe had trauma somewhere in the uh, back limbs. He's quite healthy now. Allegra has sort of the more unfortunate story that she was found in the basement of a house um, when people moved into a new house. So this seems to have been an old wives tale that came down through that having a turtle in your basement would help your bugs. So a number of St. Louis and Missouri residents captured turtles from the wild and placed them in basements. So she was actually quite emaciated um, and dehydrated but otherwise uninjured. That's not good, but obviously much better now. Much better now. She's much healthier and a lot faster. A nice uh, smooth shell, which is a, yes. a sign of good UVB and health. Yes, she's in, she's in good con condition now. So we're, we're very thankful that the person that found her um, decided to get her to some really good care. So what do these turtles eat in the wild? Um, so I like to call these guys the dinosaurs, uh, or the T-Rexes of the woods. So they're just sort of out there. If you are smaller than them, they're coming to munch on you. Uh, they like worms, they like other insects, um, they will raid carcasses, so they like uh, that decomposing uh, meat that you might find out on the forest floor. Um, they really, really like mushrooms and berries, they really like brightly colored objects. So really, uh, they're, they are true omnivores, they will eat just about anything. Um, but here at our hospital we feed them a cooked chicken diet, so they definitely prefer um, that good protein coming from, from other animals or insects. That's very good like, nutritionally. Yeah, yeah, mm. so uh, it's a diverse diet. We always are feeding, um, I think it's like 50% protein and a little bit of apple and a little bit of uh, plants. We want to make sure that we get the complete <laughs> um, omnivorous diet as well as we're providing lots of extra calcium. So in the wild they have access to bones and eggs and all sorts of really good calcium and not in Right, and in captivity, we got to make sure we, we've got that part of the diet nice and stable too, because that's how we get these good looking shells. And these guys are definitely not your stereotypical turtles just sitting down and hiding. They're very active. Yes, very active. So a lot of people that haven't met a turtle up close, they've still got that image coming from the cartoons of that slow snail crawl turtle. These guys are, are built to move, they're built to explore, and they're built to dig. They, build, they dig hibernation dens every year that have to be at least two feet under uh, the freeze layer. So these arms are strong and muscular and ready to, to move. <laughs> and you're showing us like in their home they have these burrows where they just dig like eight inches into the ground. Yeah, oh yeah, and also just to get out of heat. So they want to yeah. get down to that nice cool soil. Um, so yeah, these are these are not weak animals by any means. They are a little slower than some other animals, but they are... They're, they're so like, fast to, compared to the stereotypical turtle. Very oh yeah. slow. Yeah, <laughs> very active, very, very exploratory. And like, also with cartoons, like, many people think that they could just slip out of the shell, and as you have right, right here, they definitely cannot. Yeah, so I always like to share... Oh, Mr. Camera Guy, oh. make sure... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lost someone over our environment. So, uh, we always like to share that the turtle shell is a part of their skeleton. Um, it is a, a big part of, of their body. So this isn't something they can come in and out of. It's not an outside garment. Um, and I do have some turtle shells. The turtle shell is actually bone. Um, so I do like to share. These are just uh, shells that you might find out in the woods. So this turtle has passed on. Um, this is the bone left behind, just like any other skeleton you might find. And that is the spine right down the middle. So it is a part of his body. I can't have this 
uh, shell with, <laughs> with a live turtle. <laughs> the shell is important to the turtle itself. But what's really pretty awesome for us in rehab is because it is bone, an injury to the shell is like any other fracture. As long as we can stabilize that fracture, we can heal it, um, which is pretty awesome. I mean, how would you do that? Um, so we use just about anything um, you can think of. So I like to call them turtle stitches. We'll use super glue on either side of a crack and use a zip tie to pull it together. We'll use uh, brackets. Sometimes people will use uh, wire. Um, often all we need is tape, but anything to pull all the pieces back together, get that puzzle back the way it should be, um, and their body can heal it. It's pretty amazing. And what are some of the differences between a male and a female turtle? Yeah, so this, um, this turtle here is a male turtle. Usually you'll know a male because um, they've got that bright war paint on. So some sort of really beautiful coloring um, to impress those ladies. So he's looking really lovely. Most male turtles are going to have a bright eye color. So either, let's see if you can see his, a yellow or an orange or a red um, to show off. Uh, they will have a concave shell. There should be some uh, indentation on their plastron and a much longer tail. So you've got to have more than one turtle to compare tails. So that is a boy turtle. Miss Allegra is a girl turtle. So you can see she's still got spots. She's still quite beautiful. She has a much darker eye color. And the really key trait is this flat, flat plastron. So no, uh, no indentation whatsoever and quite a bit shorter tail. What are the differences between a aquatic or a land turtle like this? Yeah, so these guys, like I was mentioning earlier, they're built to move. They've got this nice domed shell. They can pull their feet all the way in if they need to. You can see Allegra was doing it for just a minute. They can close completely in. Um, a water turtle is going to be built more like a torpedo. So this is a snapping turtle shell. And it's really more of a covering to protect the top. And they will have a plastron. But it's not built to contain their legs, it's built to swim fast. Um, so they've got a lot more defenses available to them. So you'll end up with uh, sort of those oval shaped uh, sliders or painted turtles um, compared to the circular and dome shaped terrestrial turtles. Because mm -hmm. when you're going through the water, like with this, for example, it's going to stop you a lot yeah. more. Yeah, it's not oh, built. There go oh. both turtles. <laughs> and now this is part of your rescue room. Yeah. That's how we speak. So what do we have here? Or who do we have here? Yeah, so we have uh, one of our turtle patients. Most of our turtle patients are coming to us having been hit by a car. So you can see he's got a lot of bandaging going on and all of that is just helping hold his shell in a stable condition so that his body can do the healing um, that we know he's able to do. As he's a boy, <laughs> you can see by his spots. Um, so each of these pieces of tape, you can sort of see it coming through. There's a crack there we're holding together. There's a couple of cracks under here. And as long as we can stabilize it, we can heal it. So he's got a... Uh, a long way to go, but I think it's going to be, um, it's going to be okay. Mm -hmm. This guy has like those brackets, and as oh, we can see oh, them, oh, yeah. all so the tape and all this. It's, I don't know too much, but there is um, a little um, metal bracketing going on under his shell there as well, trying to keep all those pieces as stable as possible. Yeah, so anything, anything that we can think of that can get pieces back, um, we use. So this is a bit of aftermath from... Yeah. Uh, another car. So you can, this is not as bad. Not as bad, no. And you can see just how impressive those shells are. As long as those pieces are touching, just like healing any other wound, it takes quite a while, but it is possible. Mm. And then you like, they did break their bracket, but you have to probably fix it through the video. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so there's a lot of adjusting and readjusting and making sure the tape's in the right place and trying whichever technique is going to it stabilized mm. longer. But they are very tough animals as we see here. Yes. Like, oh yes, and very active. A couple thousand pound car versus a yeah. maybe a pound of a turtle. And this is pretty good. Yes, yes. So those yes. shells are built yes. to do that job. Yes. They're built to protect that animal. So um, as long as everything else is still doing okay, they can they can come back from pretty uh, pretty amazing trauma that they turn to the wild just fine. Well thank you so much for telling us about the yeah. box turtles. And if you guys enjoyed this week's episode, don't forget to leave a big okay. thumbs up down below, subscribe to my channel, and also check out my Instagram, at Cole Shirk. And as always, I'll see you next week. Yeah, I'm going to stay in the building.